Okay, so I've just moved to an office which has fantastic views over the harbour. You see over there, but <coughs> it's a bit reflective to do any kind of videos. So I'm introducing the video box. Yes, this amazing invention will make <laughs> it possible for me to video stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, hi. Right, I was going to do a video um, of Red Shrike, but unfortunately Doug beat me to it yesterday and did one. So um, I, I may do a, a different type of video later on. Uh, but in the meantime, I was going to introduce you to the colorful world of Forever Beats. So this is Forever Beats. Uh, I picked it up the other day uh, on a whim and it's actually really good. So um, what it, it sort of describes itself more as a MIDI sequencer on the App Store, which I think is uh, a bit of a misnomer because it actually got it's actually quite a uh, a nice little uh, drum synth and sequencer um so let's see what's going on here all right so here i've got um my my page that i come into and if i uh, just bring these down a bit i'm on pitch at the moment and i'm using the kick engine now each of these things here has a different engine kick snare metal drone fm and pad, and each is a different, basically a different synth engine. So let's uh, let's click run here. Okay, so you can see now I've got a nice low bass, uh, nice low pitch going on. Um, and on the velocity, I've got two velocities at the uh, maximum. I'm going to turn one down a bit. And let's have another couple here. And make them a bit lower as well. So. Okay, so that's my that's my kick, and I'm gonna stick a snare on here. Uh, <laughs> let's see if it's all running. All right, uh, I have found this occasionally because I've been using a lot of muting and soloing. Um, stuff gets stuck off. So you, know, you have to watch out for that. Right now, um, here's my snare. Uh, there's a number of presets for all of these engines. So it's brush, hit, something I created, snap, spring, and so on. And in all of these, um, I've got an attack, decay, Let's make the decay a bit longer, a bit more release, by transients. Modulation right down. Okay, there we are. Now, any of these can be affected by one of the two LFOs. So, over here in the LFOs, I've got LFO 1 and 2. I've got different shapes. I've got different rates. So, let's uh, change the rate of that one. Make it a triangle. And then let's make the transient be affected by LFO 1 with a depth of that much. And obviously, you can't see it because Let's move this around with the modulation a bit with LFO 2. LFO 2. Uh, LFO 2 is moving a bit faster. And so you can see, so you can mess around with all this stuff. Um, uh, over on 3 here, I've got metal. And a bunch of presets on this. Uh, so I can use KX, which gives me something like a like a snare. Now, all of these um, for any of these parts, I can change the the length, so I can set up polyrhythms very easily. As you can see, I've got polyrhythm going on there. And if I want to create a more complicated pattern than 16 parts, if I go over here, I can just copy that couple of times let's have it repeating twice on the first one on the second one let's change that on that on the third one make that 16 parts long and then if I click loop on now I'm gonna run through those patterns 
So now I've got this weird poly rhythm going on with my hi-hat. Um, and I've also got, um, I think I'm also changing from, from pattern to pattern, which is, which is very nice. Going back to my main screen then. Um, okay. Now, um, all of this, all of these um, parts can be sent out to uh, a MIDI channel and you can, so each of these parts could be playing a different synth uh, on the output, which is, I guess, how they're really advertising this, this app is uh, as, a, as a MIDI sequencer. Um, but I think as a rhythm generator, it's absolutely awesome. Now, we've also got this break section and uh, some labeling would be handy here, but uh, but let's let's roll with it. Um, over here on the top right hand corner, this is just playing everything from left to right as standards. So let's go back to 16 parts here and let's turn the loop off. So I'm just playing this part back here again and let's uh, press play. And let's make that snare part slightly less annoying. Um, let's preset strong. Now, I, if I click one of these in the grid here, it's what, it's, what it's going to do is it's going to play the sequence in a different order. So let's hit on. So it's a very quick way of jamming to get a completely different rhythm, uh, a completely different pattern going on. Now you can hear it's only affecting this part because my my bass drum is still doing what it was doing before, and so is my so is my hi hat. Or you can affect everything. So I put that back to playing through. Click all tracks, and now if I hit, now I'm playing all the tracks. So this this sort of jamming section over here, this break section, just that chops up and plays everything in a in a different order. But as I say, it's no labeling. So in fact, if you didn't know better, you'd never know that that one is the one that plays everything straight through. Um, so over on pad, let's have a pad there. And uh, let's give it a lot of decay. And let's have this LFO affected by another LFO. Okay, and then we've got this one. Let's change the preset. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, um, and over here um, we've got what's this one? This one's FM. This is nice and clanky if you like FM sounds. So let's have a few of them. <laughs> a real mess going on, but that's okay. Uh, we're just trying to prove the point. And again, any of these things can be output via MIDI to, um, to anything else you've got running. So if I have a red trike on there. And so here, uh, so you can send this MIDI out um, wherever you want to do it. And so you can be running six different MIDI devices with polyrhythms, with stuff happening, pitch and volume. Um, you've got this scale here that, um, on the pitch. Um, so here, C minor, I can change the scale. It's um, when you're setting pitches, it's, uh, it's not particularly useful in as you can't really see where you're setting stuff. So there's a lot of experimentation. It'd be nice if it, if it had a prompt telling you which note you were setting this to, but that's, that's okay. Okay, that is Forever Beats, um, which I'm really enjoying. I'm, I'm, I'm just working on a track now, which, uh, which is using it all the way through. So um, give it a go. All right, bye.